Patrick Duell weighs as much as five baby elephants. The weight bearing down on his vital organs is killing him. A special ambulance service is called out on its most extraordinary mission. To get to their patient, they have to knock down one wall of his house. Inside is a man who weighs half a ton. Even as an obesity surgeon, I had never come across a human being that was still breathing that was anything like his size. When he rolled to his back, um, he could not breathe because the weight would prevent his lungs from expanding and contracting. He was literally being crushed by this huge mound of his weight, and you could not explain that to people, even in words. You really had to see it. Dr. Harris's team of nutritionists devised a special diet. Patrick was to eat a tenth of what he normally ate. The results were miraculous. It was either buckle down and do it or skip it, go home and die. And Dr. Harris had told me, he said, while you're in the hospital, you're going to do what I tell you. Patrick Duell came into this world weighing a very average 7 pounds, 12 ounces. And almost from that very moment, he has been fighting the needle on the scale. But as you are about to see, when we first met him, he, he would have trouble breathing, fly. even to complete an entire sentence. By the time we saw him in, in October, he had lost so much weight that conversation was quite easy for him. He laughed more. All of a sudden, I could roll over by myself. Then they had the machine help me sit up. And I could sit up by myself. That was great. But just eight weeks into his fight of a lifetime, Patrick is already moving ahead of schedule. I love my sweetie, my sweetie is eating. I'll love her for life because she is my new wife. All those steps were amazing, going from n not being able to do anything to, to being able to walk around and, and do things. Why didn't you just take him in hand? Why didn't you say, I'm going to put you on a diet, I'm going to get you healthier? He would have still said, well, honey, I need chips. <laughs> easiest way in the world to alienate me is to tell me not to do something or tell me I can't do something. His, uh... I'll rip you to shreds. Mm -hmm. Since his weight loss, Patrick's life has changed dramatically. Now he can use a bathroom, he can spend the night away from home for the first time since his honeymoon. Can you hold your feet up that long? Do I have a choice? I've learned that it's a lot easier to, uh live life and be able to do things when you don't weigh quite so much. I mean, I haven't been this thin for 25 years. They started this thing out by calling me the half-ton man because, you know, I weighed a 1,000 pounds. Um, I was looking forward to getting below 500 because it's, you know, that's a quarter ton. So now I'm below that so I don't have to... Uh, they can't measure anything in tons anymore. He has been so hungry. Patrick still isn't out of the woods. Stomach reduction operations are usually successful in the short term, but more than half eventually fail. That's because people can't break the habit of overeating. Oh, we've got chicken here, I think, that I can put, have two it, meals. put it in the refrigerator, and then I'll have a snack later when I need one. More protein. I was just having my afternoon protein snack and cheese. So you don't seem to have had to change your eating habits too much? No, not really. Um, I eat pretty much what I want to. I just don't eat as much of it. And uh, I still stay away from the high fat, high sodium things. But uh, pretty much I can eat what I want.